Sebastián Piñera Echenique. Billionaire Sebastian Piñera returned to the presidency in Chile on Sunday, consolidating Latin America's shift to the right. Chileans voted Piñera in for his second term following a campaign to reboot the economy after slow growth in recent years. This is the third time power has swapped between Piñera and Michel Bachelet. The presidency has switched between these two leaders since 2006, as Chile's centre-left and right coalitions alternated in power. But now in his second term, Piñera faces a new political landscape. Corruption scandals have hit the Chilean political establishment across the board. The entire political system perceives that uh, fewer and fewer people vote. So we started from almost 90% of turnout, voting turnout in 1990, where everybody wanted to vote after the dictatorship, to a um, municipal election where a third of the electorate vote, 30, 34%. So that's, a, that's the sharpest decrease in voter turnout in Latin America for sure, and I think one of the uh, sharpest in the world. In 2015, Chile introduced its electoral reform, replacing the system left by the dictatorship of Augusto Pinochet, which essentially ensured a two-party system. Now, thanks to the changes, many minority parties have representation in Congress. Natalia Castillo is one of the new generation of deputies. In her mid-30s, she says she is one of the oldest in the leftist coalition, the Broad Front, which wants Congress to respond to social demands. Chile changed many years ago. For a long time, the country has wanted a more democratic and fairer country with more access to social rights. But it is the political class that had not responded. Our representatives have not been up to the citizens' demands. In Chile, there are debates over social inequality, education and welfare, as well as sensitive issues such as abortion and immigration. Piñera's first term of office saw large social protests over his policies. It's going to be difficult inside Congress and, in, and on the streets as well. Hundreds of millions of Latin Americans go to the polls this year, as much of the region decides its future. And while there will be more debate, for now Chile has joined its neighbours Peru, Argentina and Brazil in moving to the right. Joel Richard, CGTN, Santiago.